I was so close. All I needed was a second longer, and we would have had all that information about the moon. Ah. Ah. I'm so angry. Now I'm going to have to wait for the end of this cycle if I wanted to find it. I should have used the signal locator sooner. But granted, when you were faced with the end of the universe, I guess your mind doesn't really work all that well. Ugh, I'm still angry. I'm happy that we managed to discover the stuff about the observatory, about the eye, and about how they get to the bottom of Giant's Deep, even though we still need to figure out how to get, you know, into the core of it, the planet itself. But still, ugh! ugh I need to settle down before I, I completely lose it. Let's just head back to the planet, see if I can maybe land in the city and discover what the Gnome I were doing there, and maybe learn some other stuff. First, might as well take a look at everything. Definitely all that purple stuff is quantum. We've gotten to the observatory, and hopefully I got everything I need to learn. Yep, looks like everything at the observatory was discovered. Tornado simulations... Construction yard is all done. Still no leads on Feldspar, but the Bramble Island kind of gave us a hint of to where they were to going. The Dark Bramble Seed seems like Feldspar was last seen at Dark Bramble. Feldspar head off to Dark Bramble after reaching the core of Giant Steep. And if I want to know how to get to the core, I need to find Feldspar. Or at least what's left of them. Maybe they had some notes. Maybe, I don't know. Something had to be left behind to tell me how to get the Giant Steep's core. And then there's the Ash Twin Project. That's something big that I need to, to figure out up for my own. And the Quantum Moon. And the the vessel itself. It just There's so much I need to discover about this universe. But I'm not going to discover much just sitting around here doing nothing. So back to Brittle Hollow it is. You know, I've been wondering a little bit. The moon flying around Brittle Hollow. From the looks of things, even though it's been spitting out so many molten hot rocks, it almost looks like there's some spots I could land the ship on, which makes me wonder, can I actually get into those volcanoes on the planet? If I can find a good spot to land, then possibly it's going to be a very dangerous trek because there's looks to be four volcanoes on this place. And one slip up and I'm basically cooked. Uh, so far, it doesn't look like I'm seeing any surface to land on. I don't even know how I'd be able to get inside the volcanoes to begin with. Wait, th there were platforms. I thought I saw structures inside as well. Not on that one. Uh, maybe if I c maybe I can land on the side of the volcano. Yeah, there's no my structures in there, so the no my somehow managed to get inside this. Why I'll have no no clue. But I need to get inside. Just need to find a place to land. But that's easier said than done with a place like this. Nope, it's sinking into the lava. Mm. And it doesn't look like the moon gets smaller every time it shoots off rocks. I don't see a safe spot to land. Ah, well. Maybe I'll come back to the planet or the moon itself later. For now, where did Brittle Hollow disappear to? There it is. Alright. I need to remember you for later. But right now, what I would like to figure out is if there's a way for me to get inside the planet itself without wasting too much time. 
possibly the cannon? It was a pretty wide open space, and maybe I can maneuver my ship in there. Or wait for a couple of chunks of rock to go flying into the black hole down below and just fly in through the opening. Hmm. Campfire here? Is there another explorer down here? Shouldn't be. I'm the latest of the explorers, and all the other explorers have their own planets. This settlement was able to get below the surface. Oh! Although, I'm not a big fan of spontaneous gravitational shifts. Oh! This is the bridge. It must lead to the, the city. Close to the black hole. I didn't think that was gonna work, to be honest. Ah, so I finally made it, the illustrious Haining City. Oh, this is big. District, Meltwater District, Ice Shrine District, Black Hole Forge District. Well, Ryback hasn't had a whole lot of time to explore here. Of course, the Big Oaf has been a little too afraid to. Explore anything past base camp, given his situation and his aversion to danger. A 
Black Hole Forge controls. So that thing must be the forge itself, but... Yeah. Uh, aha! But how am I supposed to get to it? It's a little out of my reach right now. That looks like the receiver for the little teleporting things that they were experimenting with, but I don't know where I'm supposed to stand to get teleported there. The Ash Twin Project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we attain it? Uh, I don't know. You're asking me? Well, maybe this thing has the answer. Solution 2, we could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. The greatest challenge here, I think, is if we don't have the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters, uh, bleh, crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design for our Black Hole Forge, is adept at crafting small, similar cores. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its ceasing casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true. However, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core, more Relatively, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. Is the safest path for our clan? Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should lose choose to the option with the potential for harm. Uh, if that was solution two, what was solution one? Try to go back and find the vessel themselves? I'm guessing this is probably the person who came up with the first solution. Let me just look around here real quick. Uh, Aha! I feel strange, trying to recreate a nose warp core without him. At times, I st it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice and the Black Hole Forge, to be in my care and not his. Hypothesis, this will always feel strange, even though my time with him was short. I miss my old mentor, and deeply. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I do not want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably, but what if my experiment has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in the star system and never saw a known as warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Still, all I can give is my best, and as Anona would say, should my best prove to be insignificant, then we will find another way to achieve what is needed. I can have Clarion root in the forge and have my clan. I am not alone. So I'm guessing this was probably Poke's house, which I guess begs the question, or I guess presents the answer of who's lying down dead on that table. Solution 1, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel, so I was right. 
This will require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good know my parish there. My mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor were once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil in Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. What? What Melora and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested it with a live specimen. I remember that anglerfish fossil. We could play the fossil fish cave when we were children. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, recall those present with the vessel. Crash said it sustained lethal injuries. There was no guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was a little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we are able to transport it back here. So, uh, well, there was a small anglerfish-like creature back in the museum. Maybe it was just like a swarm of them. The Nomai don't seem to have very functional rockets, so maybe they're just afraid they'd have to go out and physically grab it? Who knows? Uh, I guess we'll go down to the school district. Just start from the bottom and then head to the top. Oh. jump into the black hole as soon as I see that it's not broadcasting from here any longer. It's the only way to learn about this quantum moon and how to get there. Yep, that way's a no-go. Yep, that is just full of ghost matter. I think that's the same walkway I came from below. Oh. Now this is really disturbing. Expansion of festivals. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get in advance too. Like a known as warp core, which means it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. 
A single festival could last a long, long time. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we sh used to go too. Don't forget, festivals happen every ten years. That makes me wonder, how many festivals did this place, did, did the gnome I have? When, when did they arrive here? When did they go extinct? Why we should build a new vessel? It probably wouldn't be hard to get the parts if we stopped building other new things if we broke down our stru other structures like the Tower Saw Nash Twin for parts. We might have built a similar vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large, but we can make it bigger later once we reach planets with more resources. It would also help if we stopped building so many things in search for the eye of the universe. I asked Joe, and he says we use a lot of resources on the Ash Twin project. We could even have a warp core for jumping long distances like vessels have. Polk tells me she plans to make very advanced warp cores for a different project. I'm sure she could connect it to the vessel for travel, because Polk is smart. Each Nomai clan explores the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every clan. It's unusual for Nomai to remain in one place for long. Nomai are wanderers and have no permanent home. If we built a new vessel, we could return to our adventurous way of life. Imagine all the new places we could go. Our clan wouldn't be stuck here in the star system. We could even meet other Nomai and learn from them, like Kola says we used to. That makes me wonder as well. If the Nomai are such adventurous species, and the fact that there seems to be more than just one clan that is out exploring and discovering stuff, I wonder what happened to the other clans. Uh, uh, easy, easy. Uh, uh. I didn't think I was going to make that, to be honest. But yeah, if this is just one clan that was wiped out, did the entire species go extinct, or could it possibly mean that there's other clans out in other solar systems? But then, if that's the case, why haven't they come here? Hmm. It seems pretty big, so I don't think the tower has disappeared just yet. Mindful of the bones. Pay respect to the dead. Although the Nomai had some interesting beds. Honestly, these don't look comfortable at all. But who knows, maybe the Nomai's fur was very thick that it didn't really bother them as much. Ugh. I wonder what these staffs are as well. I've been seeing a lot of them, but I don't know exactly what they are. Welcome to this place. The shrine is a space to reflect in what brings us to the star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal from our travels and followed it here to find its source. We know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The result we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. I'm guessing these 
based on the possibilities. What is the eye of the universe? The eye is older than this universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it's a cosmic library. Surprise, the eye is more an advanced being. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. How can the eye of the universe be older than the universe itself? Suppose it's a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. What is the eye signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language which we do not know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. The signal is a call. Were we intended the intended audience? Of note from the signal, we are able to determine the eye's approximate age or perhaps the, its lack of age. many possibilities, so many discoveries, but not so many answers. I'm wondering what's down there and how I can get from there to here. I guess maybe that's oh, easy. Easy. Well, this is incredibly morbid. A recording device down here. Ugh. I imagine I've been hard on Poke again. This in turn means I have made things difficult for her sister, Clary. If Poke and I are oil and water, Clary is the emulsifier. She certainly ha has made us better team with mixing through shaking, although sometimes it would like to shake Poke. Jokes aside, I suppose my own fear of never finding the eye prompts my argument with Poke. That would be immature of me. I should apologize, at least to Clary, who could then tell Poke. Uh, I'm not really feeling comfortable down here. I'm just gonna get out before or I really, you know, lose it. everything in this district. I've already explored over here. I don't seem there's anything up there. Oh, wait. I see something I didn't discover. Uh. Oh. Surprised I didn't see this place over here. as I did as a child on Ember Twin that the eye in the universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us. But it may not want, us, want to be found either. In fact, the eye may not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. Oh, this is Solanum's thing, I just now noticed. The terrible circumstances of our arrival were almost certainly exactly that, circumstance. I suspect imagining we were special in the eye in some way is wishful thinking. The eye might have called out to any sentient species. Or it might not have been calling out at all. That my ancestors heard the eye signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. So this must have been her house. Uh, then I'm wondering if this is what's left of her. She, she seems to be one of the Nomai who was discontent about the eye itself and didn't want to uh, think about this journey. Hmm. Up here. I think that's everything in this district.
flooded the forge. How am I supposed to get out there? The path looks a little blocked by my case. There's no way past this. The wall is destroyed, and the tower is destroyed on the left side. Or the right side, I guess I should say, depending on the point of view. I don't... Oh! I don't see how I'm supposed to get there. I guess maybe use the teleporter, but I don't know where the receiver for this is. Or the transmitter. <sighs> Just so much to think about. So little time. Oh well, there's always the next cycle. <laughs> 